Hello and welcome, this is Mouse Gunner, and we're going to take a look at the uh, most recent update in Medieval Engineers. And what we have in this update is a couple of things that we're going to look at. First of all, all, we have a new character tool right here. Under character tools, you have yourself an axe. So let's go ahead and grab ourselves an axe and get to swinging. So, uh, load it up. Essentially, it works the same way you had with uh, a lot of the other items. It can double as a, a weapon, but it also uh, is a tool that we can now use in the world. So let's go ahead and pick ourselves out a tree, and let's pick one that's not going to uh, smash our building over there or anything. So let's pick this straggler over here, and we just click on the uh, tree a couple times. There we go. There's the tree down. And it may have taken another tree with it, because we got a little bit of a smash tree there but anyway here's our tree now this is kind of a smaller tree so i'm kind of curious if it uh, works the same way but uh, let's go ahead and get to hacking on it so yeah okay so even though it's a smaller tree it processes a bigger log when you chop on it so just with the left mouse button i can go ahead and chop on this tree and uh, get it uh, processed into these logs And as a byproduct, we see that we have these branches uh, that come off. And we can, uh, if we go ahead and we get our character tool out here, the, the manipulator, uh, let's see what we can all manipulate here. So we can pick up the branches. Can we pick up the logs, or are they too heavy? Yes, we can pick up the logs. So that's another thing that we can pick up. But these are not fully done with their processing. But let's go ahead and, and click one of these and bring it back up to our little house and we can see some of the processing we can do uh, on this uh, piece so uh, probably shouldn't have gone that far away from my house but here we are so let's get to a flat bit of ground and go ahead and drop this down and now we can go ahead and grab our uh, axe and now if we uh, if we go back down here and we and we look at the uh, the logs one thing I didn't show you is if you continue to left click on the, the log, all that's going to happen is if we actually get it to respond, uh, maybe we're not clicking on it right, there we go. Sometimes you have to be very careful with how you're aiming to get these, okay, yeah, so there, that's exactly what I wanted to show you. If you keep left clicking on the log, it just essentially breaks up into these wood chips. Now the wood chips we can go ahead and pick up. I'm not sure if they're going to use this maybe to uh, for fireplaces and things like that uh, that you're going to light up. But let's go ahead and look at what we can do as far as processing this log further without breaking it into chips. So going ahead and grabbing our axe again. If we right click rather than left click, we will uh, begin to shape our log. And now we actually have a beam that you're familiar with as far as the uh, building blocks go. And we can, of course, pick this up. Um, but we can do a further processing beyond that, which is if we uh, get our axe back out and we right-click again, we now get it into a rounded beam. And we get these wood chips as a, uh, as a consequence. Now, if you continue to right-click beyond this, you'll just get wood chips. Um, but this is the furthest process you can get uh, with these logs. So... That's the first part of the update, is we can now cut down trees, we can process, uh, we can, well, cut that uh, tree into logs, then process the logs into beams of either the square shape or the rounded shape, depending on how far along you want to process it. So, what's the uh, next part of the new update? Well, if we uh, get our, uh, our block inventory up, the main thing that we've added is we've added uh, a little bit more uh, variety in the chests, and we've also added another feature, which I'd like to demonstrate here in a little bit. So, uh, now that we have one of this ch these chests, we can see that we have two different size chests. So, uh, we have this large size and we have this uh, smaller size. Another thing that's added into the game is uh, something to do with the uh, wooden barrel. So, let's go ahead and grab ourselves a barrel and plonk one of those down. So... As far as the functionality goes, if we grab out our manipulator tool, we can now pick up the beam and put it in one of these chests. Just by hovering over it where it's got the highlighted thing, if we press T, it will now load the beam into that chest. And regardless of the fact that it, it, it wouldn't really fit in the ch uh, into a chest this size, uh, it does indeed fit in that chest. So if we hit T, it will grab that uh, 
back out, and then if we go to the next chest and hit T, it will put it in. So essentially that's how that works. And if we go ahead and uh, get ourselves some more beams so we don't have to process them, uh, bring that down here. Get ourselves a nice long beam, and then just drop a few into the world. Okay. Uh, now, you can demonstrate that you can fit more than one beam in uh, to these chests. And uh, each chest will uh, hold a certain a number of these beams uh, before it won't hold any more. Continuing to fill up. A little tricky to use the manipulator tool. If you spin too fast, it will drop. So as you can see, this holds quite a few before it uh, gets full. I'm actually not sure at what point it does get full. And we can even probably take these wood chips and put them in there. There we go. And we'll put them in the barrel. I didn't show the barrel yet, if it will let us. So there, we're putting the wood chips in the barrel. And essentially, all three of these containers work exactly the same way. Now, if you want to pull out whatever you want from that, uh, that container, you just go over to it, you press T, and it will just grab out the last thing you put in. So we put that rounded beam in first, but if I go ahead and hit... Oh, okay, never mind. I guess it puts uh, pulls out the uh, first item. I was not aware of that. I thought it pulled out the last item you put in. But I guess it puts it in, uh, you pull them out in the order you put them in. So uh, if we go ahead and put this back in the chest, let's see what happens when we uh, pull out again. Is it going to grab it? Okay, no. All right, so it, it essentially puts it, uh, you pull it out in the order you put them in. So the first item you put in is also the first item you'll pull out. Uh, so that's essentially how it works. Now another uh, thing to consider with this is uh, what happens when you uh, have a chest break on you. And essentially all that happens is when a chest breaks, it just spews out everything that was inside it, as we see here. So we can do the same thing through the barrel, break the barrel, and the wood chips just plop out. So essentially, uh, nothing uh, gets destroyed. If it's in a chest and the chest breaks, it just essentially just gets uh, spewed out, uh, and then you can go ahead and collect it later and find another chest and put it in. I'm not exactly sure what happened to the smaller chest. It must have gotten smashed, because uh, I don't even see a remnant of it. In any case, that's more or less all the update uh, has to offer. As I said, this can be doubled as a weapon uh, as well. So let's go ahead and see... Uh, how that works. So if we go ahead and pull up our our bot and we get ourselves a peasant and we load him into the world and then grab our axe, we can go uh, thwack him. And the peasants seem to be a little bit more resilient, usually take a couple hits. But as you can see, it's a weapon just like all the other uh, tools in, well, doubles as a weapon, just like in all the other tools in the game so far. Uh, and out of curiosity, can you pick up a... Uh, no, he's too heavy. Alright. That's pretty much it for this update. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video looking at the most recent update in uh, Medieval Engineers. This is Mouse Gunner, signing out.